It's Peruvian heaven. mustard. Pe no, it's not mustard. It's Peruvian heaven sauce. You've had Peruvian sugar before. It's Peruvian heaven sauce. Is what it is. It goes with a lot. Of good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Maria Uncorked. I'm Maria. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a Peruvian dish called Anticuchos de Pollo, otherwise known as chicken on a stick. And I'm going to have the local gringo in my household, my husband Jeffrey, also domestically challenged. Buenas tardes y buenas noches, todos. He's going to demonstrate how to make them. Well, I'm going to teach him and he's going to show you how easy it is. And this is a great dish to do when you're entertaining guests, barbecues, cookouts, kids. It's, it's chicken on a stick. So the first thing you need when making this dish is... Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Pollitos. Yes. So you take chicken breasts and you cut them into equal sizes. Okay, so I did little cubes. Okay, let's see. What's the best method for doing that? Sea source? I prefer to use chicken, it's not chicken, uh, kitchen, chicken, <laughs> kitchen if, shears. In case you don't have specific chicken shears, the, go with the ones that are called kitchen shears kitchen, or well, knife. So, a okay. scissors. A cutting utensil. So what I said at the beginning, a scissor. Oh my God, a cutting utensil is fine. Something that cuts in equal sizes, sizes, and they should be like one inch to two inches. Just even, okay? Can you buy these pre-cut? No. Okay. You, you buy sure? You want to- What if you're really bad at you it? You want a natural, fresh chicken that's not full of hormones and weird things, and you just defrost it, or if it's fresh, you just cut it up, even pieces. <coughs> like, look. Not frozen. Not frozen, all right. Now, that's done. The yeah. next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make the marinade. So, bowl. Bowl, empty? But, yes, three cloves of crushed garlic, which I've done. Previously crushed? Crushed, don't use the minced stuff. Mm -mm, yucky, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Crushed garlic, you can use a press or chop it up. This smells like you in the evenings after you've had about this much garlic. Okay, garlic. Roll over. Okay, then we're gonna add some olive oil, about a tablespoon, which is like a one, two count. That's, I'm an engineer, that's a little loosey-goosey. So try it, go. One, one two, two. Yeah, that's good for buckle my shoe. Okay, then we need the key ingredient, which is ají amarillo. It's a Peruvian chili. I haven't touched the chicken. Taste. It's delicious. And you can buy oh various brands of this at any local Latin market or Whole Foods, or you can order online from a company like uh, Amigo Foods. I'll put the link in my in the description, and they sell every type of Latin product. And it, I've tried all the brands, they've been fantastic, but this is the key ingredient, is the ají amarillo. Okay? We One big spoon. Spoon, okay. One big spoon. One, two. <laughs> Good. One big right. spoon. There One big go. spoon, perfect. And two big that spoons? Spoon. For now one, right. save that Leave spoon that there. Leave that in there. Yes, Got we're it. using it later. Okay, next Boom. is cumin. One teaspoon of cumin. Mmm, body odor. Yes. The whole thing? All of it, dump it. All right, that's one teaspoon. You can use less if you don't care for it. I like it. It smells like, think. like a cab in New York, probably at this time of year, during the summertime. Next is one teaspoon of dried oregano. Just add it. Just put it in so there. I'm smelling them, they smell nice. And then a pinch of salt, a big pinch. Can't go wrong with salt. Boom. Okay, it goes Got in the bowl. Some of it on the floor. In the bowl, okay. Mm. Pepper, mm. just pepper. Okay. Put it in the bowl. Chill. Put it in the bowl. This is a marinade. Okay. Lord, Lord, God, just mix. Okay. Is there so, a consistency we're trying to get yeah. here? Yeah, so you just, it's gonna be like a, it's, it's gonna be a thinner marinade so that you can Coat the chicken, okay? Yep. So you can okay. add a little bit more olive oil. It's like a mustard dish right okay. now. Perfect, that's a good amount. Enough to coat it. We're using one pound of chicken. What color are we going for? Because this is like a, getting a little green. It might be because of the bowl. It's, it's not. Like, Put it on the chicken. It doesn't look Put it on the chicken. But it smells delish. Trust that me. That part's cut. Okay. We'll leave Use it. Use your in. fingers. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay. Let's put that yeah. down. Massage. Massage the chicken. Okay. Massage it. So you're gonna marinate the chicken with your hands, and it should sit for a minimum. So I need to marinate for 20 minutes? No, the chicken's marinating for 20 minutes. Okay. You don't have to massage anymore, you're done. All right. Okay, the chicken sits for 20 I minutes. I by the hour. And then we're going to make the, how else my train of thought? We're gonna make the sauce, where the chicken sits, 
and then we're gonna skewer it, and we're gonna cook it off, and you're gonna see how easy and fabulous it is, okay? What do I get to touch with these hands? Right now we're gonna go wash our hands. I'm gonna my Fair hand. enough, all right, okay. let's go do that. Welcome back, hands are clean, yay. High five. Hi. Okay. Mm. Now we're gonna make the sauce. We're gonna make an ají amarillo yellow pepper sauce. So, which is proven inspired. So the first you need is your blender. Okay. Okay. The nether, the next ingredient is roasted yellow peppers or orange peppers. I did. I had two small ones. Come I did one yellow, one orange. They were yeah, both really the enough. small ones. Order. Or one big bell pepper that's yellow or orange. You roast it. You peel the skin. Put that baby in. Next is. Three to four cloves of roasted garlic or one clove of raw garlic. Yep. I like the roasted. That adds a different flavor. It does, and it's not as quite as that, that pungent, like. Oh, you're still gonna be smelling like it tonight. I can guarantee no, that. No, it's roasted. I will not. Well, the other I'll one, the marinating. Okay, garlic. Now we're gonna do one big spoon of ají amarillo. Now we need acid. Uh -huh. We do a tiny bit first. So Just we're a using bit. lime juice, a little bit. Decorations. A little bit first. Half a teaspoon. Is that no? Is that one, two? Okay, one, two. Yes, good. Great. Salt and pepper. How much so of a pinch? Do a pinch of each, because you can always add. Oh my God, put <laughs> in the thing. You can always add more salt and pepper. Quiet on the set. Can always add more salt and pepper. Can't take it away. Okay. Or him apparently. Olive oil. Can I do it? Yes. You didn't wash your hands. I did wash my there hands. There was no videographic evidence of that. For the pepper. For the thing. One, two. The sauce is, a, it, you adjust it to your preference. I like hot, salty acid. Some people like smooth, creamy, not so salty. What's the consistency we're going for here? It should be a somewhat thicker, a, 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 a nice dipping sauce, like a good barbecue sauce. That's the consistency, or a nice ah. ketchup. That same consistency is what we're going for. Okay. Ready? Yeah. On. Two, well, we're Hold on. Okay, huh? So, All these right. tasting spoons. Can we share the spoon? No, it's tasting spoon. All right. Oh, I thought we were gonna do. Oh my God, that's delicious. That's perfect. That doesn't need to change a thing. That's amazing. She's it right. really is. I'm not wrong. Like this is amazing. She's right. Okay. Boom. All right, sauce is done. Consistency in there. Yeah. Yep. Exactly like we talked about. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna give it another five to 10 minutes probably for the chicken. And then we're gonna skewer that baby up, put it on the grill and have some meat. Do I go back to massaging it? No, even up the skewer, you can stab it. That stab it. Sounds like a very stab bad ending to a massage. I'm gonna stab the meat. We'll okay. stab the meat. Come back in a few. Welcome back. Now the chicken is marinated for about 20 minutes, which is the Sorry. minimum. Oh. And we're going to skewer your chicken. So, nice. this is how you do this. The key is having the same size and thickness pieces of meat on each skewer. But we already so, covered that. We're not there yet. In the cutting phase. Okay. Well, they're not all going to be the same size because sometimes <clears> the tender are <throat> thinner and the, the heart of the meat is thicker. Should we roll the tape? They can. Okay, so here's the point. Roll back. Okay. On each they're going to be the same size. So on each skewer, they, the pieces of meat should be the same thickness. So we're using <laughs> seven inch, eight inch skewers. And if they're wooden or bamboo, soak them in water first. If they're metal, you're fine. And the reason why you soak them in water. So first, they don't burn. So they don't burn. I've been, you okay. didn't know this, I've been behind the camera okay, watching. Okay, so now. All right. It, it doesn't do seem one. like there's any magic behind no, it. No, yeah, you exactly. Jam, jam it. skewer through there. Jam it through okay. it. So these babies, I'm gonna do. The salmonella is free. Probably two for skewer. Chicken is done. So now we're gonna take it over to the... Can I make one comment? Yes. I was worried about the amount of marinade earlier. I take I take that back. You can go back on the tape. I take it back. Thank you. Good You're job. Welcome. Good job on your portions. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna go grill this. We're gonna use an indoor grill pan. You can do it on an outside grill. You can do it on in the oven. You can do it on anything. But it needs to go on heat. So let's go do that. There we go. Okay. Let's do it. So now the chickens have marinated, they're skewered, and we have our grill pan. Hot. Hot. It's on medium high, so about six, 
So we're gonna oil I it. I want it at five. It's gonna be six. This time it's a six. Okay. You do six, I do five. Oil pan, please. Okay. We're using just olive oil, we use a vegetable oil. Is there any just, rhyme or reason to this? Just, or just slop it, it on. It, it's so the, Is there any the, reason why I wouldn't just dump it on there? Yes, so it doesn't Ah, so that, it that. doesn't spark at It's me. just, okay, that's enough. It's just so it doesn't stick. Okay. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so now the pan is hot, you can see it's smoking. We don't need to do the sizzle test today. Take your chicken skewers and you're gonna put them perpendicular to the grill marks so that they get those beautiful black stripes. Ready? Can I jump in? Evan, go to town. Tag it in. The way you can tell when they're done, one is by touch. The scientific method would be using a thermometer. I like twice. It would be 165. So. Not there. Not there. I also think your thermometer is That's a weak thermometer. Yeah, that thermometer is so, really soft. When you don't have a good thermometer, it's a touch. That one's done. Right. Okay, so we did it. Actually, you did it. You did it? It was a team effort. Team. I was scolded and cajoled. Mm -hmm. Okay, we did it. Can so, I add some pepper? We, you, have made anticuchos de pollo. Careful, drizzle. Also known as chicken on a stick. And like I said, this is great for parties, cookouts, grilling. It's easy, you marinate it, you put it on a stick, pass it around, eat it. And kids so like it. Let's remind everyone, what's this sauce called? It is, um, it doesn't really have a name. It's- Aji Amarillo? Well, it's a yellow pepper aji sauce. Can we make one up on the fly? We can make, I don't know what we call it. It's proven heaven sauce, is what it is. It goes with a lot of things. Oh yeah. Holy crap. That's too juicy, that is so good. Okay. That's ridiculous. Um, so, now you've seen this, it's really easy. I'm gonna do it, you can entertain people with it. Great late night snack. Um, just enjoy it. Make it. Let me know how it turns out. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to make other easy, uncomplicated, delicious foods that even an idiot like me can do, uh, don't forget to check out my other videos. Love Leave it. Food in your face. That's fine. fine. It's not scolding. It's fun. It feels. If you'd like really to get in the course and learn how to make something, let me know. Good day to you. Otherwise. See you next week. Good evening.